why do you think um, you know, your brand popped off, I guess? Because like, you know. it's sick. Good fucking morning. Beautiful day. 7 a.m. Didn't think I'd be doing this, but guess I'm back behind the camera um, due to all the comments on YouTube. I'm gonna have a good Sunday, vlog it all, and start it off with a little, not little, I guess, long 20 to 25k run. Picked up these boys yesterday, Ciconian Dolphins. Um, always wanted to try them, and they didn't have the on runners that I wanted in the store. So I thought I'd pick them up, see how they get on. I've been using Nike vapor flies for the past couple years for road slash longer runs and they're absolutely flat so i thought i'd treat myself also taking my norders just in case we end up doing a bit of a trail run but i think this is a road run this morning not sure ross is planning it i'll run you through what i take pre during and post run as well pre-run usually just looks like around a thousand milligrams of salt especially when it's a longer run during the run, I'll have another thousand milligrams of salt. Maybe have a little bit of dried fruit or something like dates pre-run, but I ate a lot last night, so I'm actually not going to eat. Always use the Pure Sport Muscle Balm. Already put the uh, freeze roll on. Probably drink about a litre of water, and I've not brought a water belt or anything, so I won't actually be drinking during this run. It'll be under two hours anyway, so I don't really need uh, much drink. I'll probably take a gel as well. But yeah, that's what the usual morning looks like. If I'm not running and I'm actually training, Usually I'll have Hunter's brand creatine and citrulline. Citrulline's good because it stops your lactic acid building up. I don't need that on a long run because you don't really get that lactic acid buildup that you'd get from doing something like a Hyrox where there's a lot of weight involved in uh, with the endurance. Um, strong Omegas too, forgot about that, I'll be taking those. Citrulline, that's if I don't want it with creatine. Later alanine if I'm training weights and there's just a normal creatine over there, which I'll also be taking. Hunter's electrolyte blend is dope. 600 milligrams of BCAs, 300 milligrams of taurine, 500 milligrams of sodium in there. Tastes great as well. They look okay. I also need to decide whether to keep this car or not. So, need some help from you guys. What you think I should do. Obviously, I'm a fucking crazy Rolls-Royce enthusiast. I absolutely love Rolls-Royce. I've not had a different car for the past seven or eight years now. And I always wanted a Cullinan, especially when I came out to LA. That's why I never got one at home. I wanted to wait until now. But I just don't know if it's the right thing to have here. Like, I know the car parking spaces are a lot bigger and the roads are a lot bigger, but the traffic over here is crazy. And like, the stop start on these things is very slow. I don't know if I love it as much as I thought I would. I don't know whether to get something smaller, like a little G-Wagon or something that I can just fly up and down the hill in. Yeah, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? I don't know. I'm trying to plan the ride right now. The ride? The run? The ride. It right. is going to be a ride. Last week we did uh, all the way down to the beach, showing George the scenic ride. Hello. Yeah. And some 247 shots have just come in. That's fast. <laughs> That's fast. <laughs> right, 25k in the back. I always get the same order here and I know a lot of people are asking the question of what it is, so there you go. Vanilla sweet cream nitro cold brew. It looks like a fucking Guinness. Uh, it tastes amazing and it absolutely flows the fuck off my head. The master has spoken. Change of plans. Where's Hollywood? To the beach. We're literally just running from home to the beach. Ten miles to the beach, two miles along the beach. At least. Two, no, three miles along the beach. We can't be asked driving, basically. But we can be asked running. We're going to start here. We ended up doing 30k from uh, the hills to the beach back to the hills didn't bring any water didn't bring any subs didn't bring any electrolytes didn't bring a wallet didn't bring anything to pay with and paid for it Ross has never done over 22. 22k just did 30 straight out that's how you start a fucking Sunday morning one of two ready for breakfast <laughs> sorry not ready for the gym <laughs> I don't know what it is, but drinking a can of like Pepsi or Diet Coke or anything after a long run is so fucking nice. Beautiful day. I'm not sure what to do today. Probably gonna go farmer's market, get some shit, do some shit, and then sit in the pool. Also, post run essentials, pure sport muscle and joint balm. This little thing you apply it with 
actually you can fucking dig the shit out of your muscles with it it's fucking great we got ross's chef in today pedro he's cooking up our dinners for the next few days we're going on that meal prep john's working over here i'm working here snap the van cleef thing that happened on the ski erg and we're sipping on that liquid death baby pedro's cooked up our meals for the next few days <laughs> what have we got that's a steak nice skirt steaks skirt steaks lovely what else have we got in here? This is gonna stop us going to Air One every day. We've got chicken, we've got the eggs, broccoli. There's a chicken fajita. Lots of veg, chicken fajitas. Oh, what's this? That's a shrimp with a... Cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. Nice. And then we've got the usual the caveman ground beef. 5.30 p.m. Pulling up at the spot, ready for some recovery. And we're about to do 45 minutes and boil. Yeah. And then six minutes to be absolutely freezing take us home hot cold and then maybe jump in the uh hot tub to get back up <laughs> just cancel the game it's 5 29 a.m we just signed um crossfit athlete josh alchabar who is a british guy lives over here in la always wanted to sign him just because Similar values to me, and he's out here doing this. He just won the CrossFit Games in the groups for CrossFit Invictus, and looks good, looks good, uh, trains well, has a good attitude, has a good demeanor. So we're gonna go and train with him now. We just found a little gym in West Hollywood, which is also owned by another British guy. It's just, we're just creating this crew of British people out here. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go train with him, shoot him, Alex, who's filming this right now, is going to do a little campaign for him, a little YouTube video intro and stuff like that. So yeah, it's going to be a good little morning, get some breakfast with him after that and then see what the day brings. So we're going to be going through a workout, uh, a little workout we have today. It's a pretty quick piece before we go into some strength work. We're gonna hit, uh, two guys are gonna be on the bikes, one guy on the ski. The way it works is 800 meter bike, uh, 25 dumbbell snatches, 15 burpee pull-ups, and then back to your 25 dumbbell snatches, 800 meter bike. If you're on the ski, it's the same thing, but 400 on the ski versus 800 on the bike. <laughs> So we just finished the first piece. Now they're gonna put me through my paces. I gotta bench a little bit and see what happens here. I think, what, my, you can bench just as much as you back squat? Absolutely. So, so, so one of the worst so, things you can do. So I'm gonna have a problem here if you can bench as much as you can back squat. Well, there's company here. Cool, so all right, so far today we've hit a workout. A little bit of benching. George might have shown me up just a little bit. A little bit there. And then we hit some sprint skis. Now we're gonna take them to some back squats and see how these boys can hold up with their legs. So basically they're going with that kind of high rocks concept. Right. Hybrid, you yeah. gotta be able to squat and you gotta be able to run. All right, appreciate it. Yes. Thanks, man. And any time you want to train or whatever. Absolutely. Awesome, bro. Pleasure. See you soon. Yeah, so we, we, you know, we do a lot of research.
research on, I guess, and we prepare a structure. Yeah. But, you know, often we do sort of veer off the structure. If, if you say something that we want to explore, then of course we explore it. But we just like to have, have that structure there just to make sure that we know roughly where it's going to get the best product. What are we shooting today? Tailoring collection. It's funny, we're going to go from vintage t shirts week one, active wear week two, tailored collection week three. So we're hitting all different parts of the brand on these next three weeks. So, should be a good launch though. People know it's coming. Like, we've teased it over the past year, just about getting it right and then shooting it out here, making it look cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon get both shots. Let's try here. Back. Put your hand in the hand pocket. pocket. Yep. Then look back down, and then carry on. Five. Cool. Yep. Hand in pocket. Look back away and walk. Took the shape from like it was half a Bottega jacket and half of um. There's this suit company in the UK that I bought a suit from. And then I just made the lapel suit, suit supply and made the lapel a lot longer. And then we originally had like buttons on it, and I thought if we can hide everything, like you can't actually see the buttons when it's all done up. Everyone's in tailoring. And I was like, dude, I have no suits. So I bought all them thinking, fuck, what, which one's right? And then I was like, James, let's, we need to make a suit. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe like a left cross, I don't know. It's your turn now. Yeah, nah. <laughs> How'd the shoot go today, bro? Quick little three hour shoot, um, doing the tailoring collection. Thought we'd shoot it at the house, and then we went up and saw this vintage Rolls Royce that I had my eye on. Um, thought it looked sick, so managed to get the retailer to just let us use it for a quick half an hour, so we put one of the looks into there just to mix it up. Overall, went pretty well. We won't know because the film won't be ready for another day or two, but yeah, I'm guessing it'll drop before this video, so we'll see you then.